Hey guys, I don't know why this hand came up too, it just like wanted to be a part of the fun. So today I'm going to be doing a question and answer for you and this is not at all what I had planned. So basically long story short, if you don't follow me on Snapchat, what happened was I was sitting down to film my first fall makeup look for you guys and a couple days ago, two days ago to be exact, I used a new sunless tanning product all over my face and it gave me a reaction. You can see I have like a bump here, I have like some situations here and a cluster right here and my right eyelid has like hundreds of tiny little microscopic bumps. And when I applied makeup, it burned and it hurt so bad that I was like, mm -mm, we're not doing this. So I took off my makeup, I got on Snapchat, I let you guys know the deal, and almost all of you guys are asking for me to film a video with no makeup on and do a question and answer on Snapchat for you. So that is exactly what I am going to be doing. So I apologize in the delay of the fall makeup look, but it will be out in a couple of days. So until then, let's answer some questions. I'm actually happy to be doing this video with no makeup on because it's a reminder to the young girls out there watching my videos that you don't have to wear makeup to be comfortable in your own skin. Even if you have a crooked nose or if you're having a reaction or breakouts, whatever it may be, or your lips are uneven, these are all issues that I have with myself personally. But who cares? It is not always about your outer beauty. It's not always about the new hottest beauty products and the beauty trends. I know that's what I sit here and I talk about constantly on my channel, but that's because this is a beauty channel. But at the end of the day, I am fully aware that these are not the things that truly matter in life. They're fun things and they're like sprinkles on top of the cupcakes, but you have to have the cupcake. And the cupcake itself is who you are inside. And that might sound cheesy, but that's very important for me to know that the young girls watching my videos are always aware of. You know, if I meet a subscriber in public, whether she is wearing the most banged out cat eye or she has no makeup at all, I love and appreciate you and I remember your face, I remember your smile. It doesn't matter if you're wearing makeup or not. So now that I have that out there in the open, let's jump in to the Snapchat question and answer. So I am going to ask you guys on Snapchat right now to send me questions and we'll answer them. <laughs> Snap me your questions right now, and we're gonna do a Snapchat question and answer. Only on Snapchat, not Twitter. I hope that didn't sound bitchy. Sometimes I'm like, did I just sound bitchy? I don't know, I can get kind of intense sometimes and like say things with so much like that I sound sassy, I don't like that, but. Okay, let's do this. Oh my God, this is going so cute. Um, on that woman's Snapchat, her question across the screen says, what is the best cure for depression? Um, I really want to make a video dedicated to my story with anxiety and depression, but I can't sit here and tell you the cure. I am not a doctor. I, I, I can't sit there and tell you that, but I do plan on making a dedicated video at some point all about my story because if you guys don't know, I have suffered with anxiety, panic attacks, and depression um, since I was a teenager. I've been diagnosed with all different things, diagnosed with agoraphobia, social anxiety, generalized anxiety, panic attacks, depression, many different things I've been diagnosed with over the past few years. So I've definitely had a struggle um, fighting depression and anxiety, but I really do want to make a whole video dedicated on that, but I keep putting it off because it's going to be a really, really hard video to film and it's probably going to make me very emotionally drained and I'm just nervous for, do you see, like my neck is getting red and patchy, yeah, that's anxiety. My neck gets red and patchy all the time when I get anxious. And it's funny because when I first started YouTube, my neck was always beat red and people were always like, your foundation doesn't match your neck. And it's because I was so anxious about being on camera making videos that my neck was red from anxiety. And then when I would turn off the camera within 10 minutes, the redness would go away. Weird, right? But I always get red and patchy. Uh. I love you so much. And what was your favorite thing to do during the summer? Oh my god, so cute. Okay, so my favorite thing to do during the summer now as an adult, I don't have anything. It's because it's so hot here in Florida that during the summer is not when I do activities. The fall and the winter is when I actually get to go out and do stuff. Um, but growing up during the summer was riding my bike and skateboarding. I would ride my bike everywhere and I was like such a little like punk skater girl and thought it was like so cool to like skateboard around. Hey Jeff, if you could choose any brand to collab with next, who would it be and what product would you make? Love you. So she asked if I could collab with any makeup brand worldwide, who would it be and what product would it be? And you know what's funny is if you asked me this a year ago, I would have said Becca and I would have said I would have created a highlighter and now that is exactly what's happened. I haven't even thought into the future past anything like I mean, I am working on other things right now that are extremely exciting that I can't wait to come out. Um, 
But if I had to pick anything else, what brand would I pick? Honest to God, you guys, I don't think I would pick anything. I'm so beyond content and satisfied with my life and my career right now. I don't even, there's no, there's no one. Like I'm so happy with my collaboration with Becca. I'm so happy with the things I have in the works right now that I don't have anything really. Um, and then her next question was, are you ever going to come out with your own line that is in no way a collaboration with any other brand? And yes, I have answered this a couple times before, but yes, I am currently working on, uh, should I show you guys? Ah, no, I'm not gonna show you guys. I have a prototype of something, but I'm not gonna show you. But yes, I'm currently working on something that is 100% Jaclyn Hill. I am the one that is paying for it. I am my only investor, and it is my product that I'm coming out for you guys. I've been working on it for almost two full years. It's been 23 months that I've been working on it. So yeah, ah, coming soon, coming soon. <laughs> Oh my God, they're coming in so quickly that they're not loading. I'm tapping them to load and they're not loading. Now my brother is calling me. I don't have time for this situation. Sorry, cause I'm in the middle of filming. That's why I'm like intense. I'm like, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Do you see how quickly these are coming in? Do you, do you see how, I'm trying to like tap them to load them. And what the heck, this sucks. My phone is like not keeping up with how quickly they're coming in. Hi Jacqueline, when will your collab with Makeup Geek come out? It's actually a really good question. So since I have completely dropped the announcement that I am collabing with Makeup Geek, um, how do I put this without like putting anyone, hold on. Okay, so basically my collaboration with Makeup Geek was supposed to launch this fall, but then there was an issue with like inventory and shipping and all that jazz I'm not gonna get into. Long story short, I have another collaboration that I'm working on that is supposed to launch in December. And so because I have that coming in December, me and Makeup Geek, we decided to take my palette and put it in the beginning of next year. So now Makeup Geek is getting pushed back because Makeup Geek is also collaborating with somebody else. And so we're kind of switching things around. Like they're taking the place of me, we're switching, and then I have something else coming out in December, and then my palette's coming out next year. I know it's very confusing, it's a lot. Um, but yes, the Makeup Geek palette will be launching next year. It is absolutely beautiful. I've given you guys a few swatches on Snapchat before. A lot of bronzes, taupes, oranges, just very me. Um, yeah, so that is coming out next year, but I have other things coming out before then. If you can go anywhere in the world, where would it be? Oh my gosh, that's so hard. If I could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? There's so many places that I would fly to if it was just like a five hour flight, but every place that I wanna go is so far, I need to fly over water in the dark, and I'm like, Aah! I mean, my ultimate dream is to go to Santorini in Greece. Oh my God, it literally looks like heaven on earth. Love to go to Italy, love. France, I would love to go to like the countryside of France with like all the little like homes and cottages. Ah, I love it. So yeah, I wanna go to Italy, I wanna go to France, and I wanna go to Santorini. Those are my three places that I wanna go so bad. Um, how old were you when you started getting into makeup? And I love you. Oh, she's so beautiful. Okay, so how old was I when I started getting into makeup? There really is no age. We were just talking about this when we were in Vegas. Someone from Sephora asked my mom, like, how old was she when she started getting into makeup? And like, what did you think about it? Did you encourage her, her dream and her chosen path? And my mom was like, I never had a choice. I started getting into makeup when I was like not even walking yet. I would steal my mom's lipsticks and hide them underneath my bed when I was like two and a half years old. Um, my mom would give me chapsticks for my birthdays and Christmases when I was like three because those were lipsticks to me. Um, so she would give me chapsticks and I had like a hoard, a huge box like of hoarding chapsticks that I was like, my lipsticks, my makeup. What's your favorite animal? Why? And what's your dog's name? Um, it's really cute. <laughs> What is my favorite animal and why? Oh my gosh, that's so hard. I love lions. I think lions are so cool. So are giraffes. When I was 10 years old and we went to Africa one time and we took a safari, we saw like the wild elephants and giraffes and lions and tigers and that was like the most amazing experience of my entire life. So I would have to say, one of those. I just think lions and tigers are so cool. How loud they can roar and how fast they can run. John always says if I were an animal, I would be a tiger. 
I don't know why, but he said that ever since we were dating. He always tells me, he's like, you look so much like a tiger. And I'm like, what? I don't take that as a strong compliment, but he's trying to give me one, so I'll accept it. I wanna show you guys Georgie. Hold on, I know it's so random, but you guys haven't seen him with his new haircut. Aww. Look at Georgie with no, no top knot. Look Aww. at the little baby. He's so round, isn't he? I know, he's complaining. He's like, mom, these lights, not happening. Here, Frankie. Come here, let me show them your haircut. Come here. Where are you? You guys haven't seen him in a long time. There he is, he's gotten so big. Can you believe that that's him? Look how tired both of my dogs are. He is the sweetest dog in the world, you guys. Like, I swear, look at him. He is the sweetest, most like gentle, kind-hearted dog you will ever meet. Like, are you kidding? Falling asleep, right here. So sweet. Now that I'm done making love to my dogs, let's get back to Snapchat. Do the things that he likes to do. Oh my god, my phone keeps freezing. Oh, oh, oh. Are you, what was your oh, personal dear. favorite, like, band, boy band that you obsessed over when you were little? What was my personal favorite boy band that I obsessed over when I was little? Um, in sync. For sure. Like everyone was like debating over who was better in sync or Backstreet Boys. And to me, I was like, no contest. Like, are you kidding me? Why are we even having a Backstreet Boy conversation? Like, I was in love with NSYNC and I was in love with Justin Timberlake. Like, in love. But then I got over the boy band stage like really quickly and moved on to actors by the time I was like 12, maybe even 11. And I had such a hardcore crush on Josh Hartnett. Oh my God. Like, you have no idea and Ashton Kutcher. Like, you don't know my crush on Ashton Kutcher. Oh my God, when Do Where's My Car came out, I think I was 13, I was done. Like, I was so in love with him. I even made like a music video for him when I was 13 years old. It was like a joke, but I sang um, the Mariah Carey song, All I Want For Christmas Is You. And I like dressed up like such a weirdo. And I was like standing under mistletoe and I was like fake bawling my eyes out, like making myself look super ugly. And I had like all these posters of Ashton Kutcher. It sounds so creepy, but I did it like as a joke. And that video like went viral throughout my family. And everyone in my family was so obsessed with it and thought it was so funny and we actually lost the footage of it which I died like I can't believe I lost it we lost it when I moved um from Boston to Tampa we lost the footage and if I still had that footage I would put it here on YouTube for you guys because it was the most ridiculous over-the-top video and you guys could see what a little creative weirdo I was when I was 13 years old but yeah I was in love with Ashton Kutcher I know that question was about my boy bands but it just transferred over to my love for Ashton Kutcher and now I look back and I'm like, good times, Jacqueline, good times. My phone is like legit freezing and not, oh. Where do you see yourself with John in 10 years? Where do I see myself with John in 10 years? Well, happily married, I would hope, and living in a big house, two cars in the garage. <laughs> I say a big house because I've mentioned this before, but my whole life I've always had a dream of having a very, very big, beautiful home that I can host my family dinners and Christmas get togethers and Thanksgiving parties and that's just, I'm very family oriented and it's the cancer in me apparently. I just found out recently that like because I'm a cancer that makes me like super family oriented and I'm a homebody and my home is very important to me. So I've always had a dream of having a big huge house and two cars and you know a big pool in the backyard so that all my nieces and nephews can come and play and have sleepovers and just host big get togethers a home filled with love. So yeah, that is where I see us and John, my, myself and John in 10 years. I literally can't even click because they're coming in so fast and I'm tapping them to load them and then it freezes. So I have to ask everyone to head over to Twitter instead and ask me questions there because this is not working anymore. You guys head over to Twitter and ask me questions there. Since fall is coming and I live in the very cold state, Montana, what is your favorite hot drink from Starbucks? Oh my God. You have got to get the salted caramel hot chocolate. What is your name? Danielle. Danielle, you've got to get the salted caramel hot chocolate. I know it's not a coffee drink, but they also have a salted caramel latte. Ah, salted caramel hot chocolate will change your life. The second it comes out in the fall, I am so sickly obsessed. I go to Starbucks like every single day and I've even tried to make it at home, but it's not the same at home. It's just not, it's not the same. So I take my nieces to Starbucks all the time in the fall and the winter, salted caramel hot chocolate. Inga asks, matte lip or glossy? Ah, that's so hard because 
I would say overall glossy, but this time of year coming up, matte. Yes, matte. Megan Richardson asks, best palette for cool toned smoky eyes? Um, I would say the new Kat Von D eye palette. It is the shade light eye. It is so beautiful. Like the grays and the black and just the medium tone browns. I really, really like that palette, especially for their cool tones. If you could only use one makeup product for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh my God, what would it be? Mascara? No, it's so basic. Um, you know what it would be? It would be a cream bronzer. It would be like the Chanel Soleil de Tan, whatever the heck that thing is called, bronzer or like the terracotta like spray bronzer. It would be a bronzer. That's what it would be because I feel like even if you're gonna wear nothing at all, if you can like warm up the face with like a cream bronzer, it just gives you life. Bronzer. Morgan asks, would you ever get a tattoo? What would you get if you did? Just because John has so many, have you ever thought about it? Yes, John is absolutely covered in tattoos and I love it. I think that he looks super cool and it totally fits John. No, I will never get a tattoo. I have had a lot of ideas of tattoos that I would love to get, but I've never actually followed through with them. Um, I will tell you guys the tattoo that I wanted to get for like three years and I still would love to have it, but I'm not going to, but I'll tell you guys in case any of you think it's cool, you can go ahead and get it for me and I can live through you. Um, but I've always wanted to get a tattoo right here, like not on the actual neck, but not like on the actual back, but like right, this is awkward, like right here. I would love to get a tattoo right there that says, destroy what destroys you. Because that is one of my favorite lines ever and I have told myself that since I was 16 years old. It's like very powerful, short and to the point, but encouraging and just makes you feel like, yeah, like you can take on the world. So I would love to get that right there on my back. And I also thought that it would be cool like one day if I had kids, you know, like how cute kids' signatures are when they're only like five years old, like they're in like preschool and like first grade, their signatures are so adorable. I would love to get like my child's signature, like on the back of my neck or like on my wrist right here, like their little sloppy signature, just cause I think that that would be so cute, like of just having like that memory of like your child when they first learned how to write their letters. I don't know. I just think that like that would be really cool too. Random stuff. What advice do you have for new girls starting out on YouTube? Um, just to stay true to yourself, and I know that that sounds like cheesy and simple, but it's not simple because once you start getting like the rise to fame here on YouTube and brands start reaching out to you and companies start reaching out to you and people want you to talk about some product like the pet corrector and they're like, we want to pay you thousands of dollars and you're like, but I don't even like this. It's not always easy to turn down a big paycheck, especially when you've got bills coming in. So, um, stay true to yourself and when you start YouTube, start it for the right reasons. Start it because whatever it is that your channel is about, whether it's cooking, beauty, fashion, whatever, do it because you love it and continue to remind yourself every day, I'm doing this because I love it. Not to please people, not to make money, but because I love it. And remind yourself that before you get on camera because people can see that and people can feel that. Um, I've always said, like, the second I stop to love YouTube, I'm done. Like, I do this because I love it. I love sitting here. I love talking to you guys. I love my subscribers. I love meeting you. Whenever a subscriber comes up to me in public and is like, I'm so sorry to bother you, I'm like, don't you dare apologize. And I grab them and I hug them because it's always good to meet you guys. Like, I genuinely love this. And yes, there's haters and yes, they're going to bring you down at times and you're going to get upset and you're going to spend a day crying in bed every once in a while, but doesn't matter. The good so overdoes the bad. And I don't know why I'm getting off on a tangent. I was trying to tell you guys my advice to you. And then I started talking about subscribers and haters. Um, but stay true to yourself. Laura Marie asks, can you describe what your makeup style was as a teenager? Yeah, a hot mess. If you could change your eye color, what would it be? Hmm, I would probably say brown because brown eyes are so beautiful. And I know all the brown eyed girls out there are like, oh my God, ew, like why do brown eyed girls hate their eye color so much? I don't know. Anytime I would ever work on a model who had brown eyes, I'd be like, yes, because I think brown eyes are so beautiful. You guys can do, do so many things to make your brown eyes pop and you can wear so many colors that are so much trickier with someone with light eyes. So I love brown eyes. I and mean, I'm fine with my eyes, I like my eyes, but I love brown eyes. So if I had to change, I would switch to brown or like a pure green because I have green and blue, like pure green is so rare. My niece has just pure green and I think it's gorgeous. April asks, looking back at your life and how it used to be before YouTube, did you ever imagine being at a place that you are now? Um, <laughs> oh, yes and no. A very strong yes and then a very strong no. I never saw myself doing this. 
but it's really funny because I will say that like for me personally I feel like if anything makes me believe in God it's where I am right now in my life because there is no question that my whole life has led up to what I am doing. The fact that I've been interested in makeup since I was a little girl and the fact that I was so interested in videography and photography and then those two came together and created the situation that's going on right now. But at the same time, when John and I got married, I was only 19 years old and we had absolutely nothing, like not a penny in our pocket. We started our marriage with just the money that we had gotten from friends and family at our wedding and <laughs> We had just basic jobs, you know what I'm saying? Like I was working at Mac in Tampa and he was working at a restaurant serving. And so it was just, and we could barely pay our bills even doing that. It was so difficult and we went through the hardest times ever. I mean, it got worse and worse and worse for like two and a half years, just not being able to make ends meet. I know I'm going off on like a really big rant right now. I'm not meaning to talk so much about the situation, but anyways, even when our life was miserable and even when, I mean, we couldn't afford Wi-Fi or cable for years. We didn't have those things until we had been married for like three, three and a half years. We could not afford Wi-Fi and cable. That was a very big luxury to us. Um, so I remember like we would just lay on the bed, lay on the couch all the time. We weren't working because we had no money to do anything, no money to go anywhere. So we would just sit around constantly if we weren't at work. And I remember even then just always saying to John, like, this is temporary, things are going to get better. Like, things are going to be amazing one day. Like, John, I'm telling you, like one day we're gonna be driving a Mercedes, we're gonna have a beautiful home. Like, it's going, it's going to happen. Like, I always believed in myself and I always believed in us. And I look at other people and I'm like, they're working their asses off and they're making it work so I can too, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm always saying that to you guys. I'm always trying to remind you like, don't look at me and think like, oh my God, she's just so lucky or she's just so this. Like you can have this too. I am not like special. I am not like God's gift to the world. Sorry, it's thundering. You are God's gift to the world too and you can do the exact same thing as me. You can have a product in Sephora. You can make YouTube videos. You know, I started using a lamp as my lighting and like a $40 camera from China. So you can do it too. So um, to answer that question, did I see myself here? No, not really, but at the same time, I've always believed in myself. I've always believed that hard work pays off and believing in yourself pays off and having a positive attitude pays off. So that was a really long answer, but yes and no. Crystal asks, do you think you'll ever do a live makeup class where we could come and see your magic in person? I actually would love to do that. I've thought about that. Um, doing like a live seminar and having, you know, like a couple hundred tickets sold and like renting out like a hotel or something, having people come and do a live thing. Basically what you see on camera, but in person, and I would use a model of course, I think that that would be super fun. But the reason that I haven't actually acted upon it is because I, I hate the idea of charging people to do things. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've had a lot of people reach out to me and ask if I would like to do like a live stream class that's a dollar to watch. It's like an hour and a half long and it's a dollar to watch and I would work on a model and I've turned it all down because I just don't like the idea of charging you guys a dollar to see something when I can do it right here on YouTube. Um, so doing a live class would be so fun, but I just don't like the idea of charging you guys. I don't wanna, I don't wanna make you, pay. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Cecile asks, what is your favorite friend's episode? Mine is with the holiday armadillo. <laughs> P.S. I love you and hope your eyelid gets better. I love you too, Cecile. Okay, what is your favorite friend's episode? Ah, it's so hard. I think that like one of my favorites is the one where Phoebe gets like the record deal and she does the music video for Smelly Cat. <laughs> I can't even talk about it without laughing. I've seen it probably no joke 75 times and I still cannot watch that episode without laughing my ass off. Like her music video when she comes out and there's like fog and she's like smelly cat, smelly cat. Like, and then the backup singers are like smelly, 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 really bad, smelly, smelly cat, it's not your fault. Why are they beating you? God, that episode is so good. Jada, I think that's her name, Jada Princess asks, if you had the chance to go to space, would you? Hell no. Oh my God, space is like my space is like my biggest fear in the world. I think it is so amazing that astronauts can do what they do. When I was a little kid, I wanted to go to space so bad, but oh my God, the thought of going up out of our atmosphere into the galaxy and looking at the planet that we live on. Oh, no. Brianna asks, if you could have any car in the world, what would it be? I love you so much. I love you so much too, Brianna. Um, any car in the world would be a Mercedes G-Wagon. Like, I didn't even need to think about that. Mercedes G-Wagon, all black. 
I've mentioned the Mercedes G Wagon before on Twitter, like probably two years ago. The second that I saw that car, oh my God, I'm gonna have it. Like I will have that car one day. I will, I will have it. Jess asks me, love you Jacqueline, I <laughs> love you too Jess. She said, I was wondering how you deal with body confidence, especially being on YouTube and living in the spotlight. I don't really care about that. I, I really don't. Like I've gained 20 something pounds, 23 pounds since I've been on YouTube. When I started YouTube, I was 98 pounds, somewhere around there. Um, I was very unhealthy. Now I'm 122. So I've gained weight, but it's good weight. And I might gain a little bit more and I'm okay with that, whatever. I have cellulite, I'm a woman, I have stretch marks, my ass blew up when I was 13 years old. Like, you know, I've got the situation going on down there, it happens. And I've seen a few people leave comments like, oh my God, she's gained weight. Don't you guys think that her face is getting fatter? Don't you think, and it's like, the fact that you guys are calling me fat is so ridiculous. Like, I don't, I don't struggle with the body image thing. And even if I gain more weight, get over it it's my body and it's not yours like you're never gonna hear me talking about someone else's body like oh my god like who cares it's their body let them be you know as long as it's not like a family member of mine that is unhealthy like people just need to get out of other people's business and stop pointing fingers at everyone else and just deal with their own issues <laughs> that's how i feel hey jacqueline can you do the whip and the nay nay laugh out loud by the way i love you so much you the bomb girl of course I can do the whip in the nae nae. Hello? Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nae nae. Why me do it? Watch me whip, whip, watch me nae nae. Can you do it? Now why me? Oh, yeah. watch me, watch me. Do the stank your legs. Stank. Do the stank your legs. Stank, stank. Break your legs. Break your legs. Tell them break How did I do? Jacqueline. Ah, we're named twinsies. She asked, what would you have for your last meal? Love you, boo. Love you, too. Um, my last meal, I would have Acapulco's, which is a restaurant in Texas. For any of you Texans, you may know it. Sorry, I keep messing with my hair, but it's like, I have this mirror right in front of me. I'm going to move the mirror. Um, but for those of you who live in Texas, Acapulco's is a Mexican restaurant. John's grandfather is actually the owner of it, and it's the best Mexican food I've ever had in my entire life. And I want to go back to Texas so bad just to eat Acapulco's again. And I've literally been like, um, hi, puppy. Yes, can you please send me some, like, frozen? No, that's not going to work. Oh, okay, love you. Merry Christmas. There, chicken enchiladas. All right, you guys. That completes this no makeup question and answer. I hope you enjoy. Once my eye is healed, which should be a day or two, um, I will be back with a fall makeup tutorial that I'm so excited about. I have two tutorials coming up that I have planned out, and I am so excited for them. I cannot wait. Okay, I'm going to stop, but I'm so excited. Oh my God. So anyways, yes, I'm just very looking forward to these fall, vampy, smoky, warm makeup looks. So I hope that you're excited too. Thank you so much for joining me today and watching this video. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.